since we already created a lot of content for Pinterest, we created about three different images and two different videos, we are now able to upload this content. This is actually pretty easy in the beginning, but there are some things and some hints basically I can give you and these are my recommendations to really make this upload process a bit smoother. But let's start at the beginning. We are on the home feed and I click now on this create button at the top left corner and here on create pin. It's also possible to upload an idea pin, but for now we stick to the pin. Here you might get, if you visit this page for the first time, a short introduction or tour, you can skip that because we will go through it anyway. On the left side of this page, which is here, you see that you can upload a video or an image. And on the right side, you have title, description and destination link. Let's start here with the image or with an image that shouldn't be more than 20 megabytes or if it's video, two gigabytes. I already created a folder with our content. We have this discount image, we have this outfit tip summer dresses for a blog post maybe, this video here, then this blog post online ways to promote your product pin and this second video. Let's start for now with the promote your product pin, which is then here. And you also see that you have the possibility to edit your pin, which we will do later, to tag products and to delete the image. Then you can upload another one instead. On the right side, you can write a title with up to 100 characters. They recommend here at least 40. And this is also the maximum amount of characters that people can read without clicking on the pin. So only by watching the preview. For example, let's take a look here. Here, you see color of the year, blah, blah, blah. And then it says dot, dot, dot. There is still something else after that, which is trends, but you can only read the first characters. So you should limit your title to a maximum of about 40 characters if you want that people can read your full title already in the preview. Maybe another example here. Here. In Siege, whatever, dot, dot, dot. And then you see the title is pretty long, but we cannot read everything in the preview which is of course fine for most of the pins. But if the last word, for example, is the most important one, then you should make sure that this is still readable, which would mean in this case, five easy online, easy online ways to promote your product. Now we used about 42 characters, so two too much, which would mean that people would only see this here, but not the last two characters. So I just delete the easy here so that people can re really read everything in the preview. And now we only used 37 characters. The same goes for the description. Here they recommend 100 characters and people are only able, if I just type, then it also says that, people are only able here to see the first 50 characters when they click on your pin. After that, they need to click on read more. 
So if you want a description or if you have something important in your description, then put it in the beginning because people won't click on read more or most of them won't click. So the most important stuff should be in the beginning. Do you want to promote your product with simple online ways? Then this blog post is a must read for you. Like this maybe. This is the call to action. This is the catchy part of the description. And after that I can still use the other characters here, these 395 characters left, to have more keywords in there and also to give more information, which is then important for ranking. In the blog post, you will learn how to da da da. The way, or you can also give one way for them, so it's five online ways, and you tell them one. Way number one would be to blah blah blah. If you want to know more about this and the, this and the other ways, I wrote down for you, then just click on the link which leads you to the blog post. This could be, of course without the dots, but with more content, this could be a good description. You also have this smiley here that you can use to also use smileys in your description. And you can also add an alt text. An alt text is important for blind people because this is the text that they can click on basically so that Pinterest or the computer reads that out loud. So the, the computer is reading that out loud. If you have this right setting for Chrome and for your computer, this is, as I said, more importantly for blind people. But it is also good for ranking and keywords. Okay, so this is a good way and an often used way for blogger and website user to get a better ranking by just also having an alt text. You could copy your description. I'm a fan of really rewriting that so that it makes sense. But in this case, we don't have like hashtag trendy or something because if there is like hashtags in there, we don't need them in the alt text. Because if the computer really reads that out loud, yeah, it sounds like bullshit. So if you have a useful value description, then put it in here. If not, then rewrite it so that it's good for your ranking and also for people that are blind. Then the destination link, this is your website. In this case, I would go with the blog post. So not the home screen of your website maybe, but really the blog, blog post itself, okay? Maybe like this, and then they get redirected to the blog post. Below that you can decide if you want to publish that immediately or if you want to publish that later. Immediately it would be now. Later it would mean, okay, I schedule this pin. We have today March the 9th and I want to publish that one week later on, yeah, let's go with 12 p.m. That is fine. And then by clicking on publish at the top right corner, before, of course, you have to choose for a right board. Maybe marketing 
any ways to promote online. This is my board. And now I want this board and publish in there. So you cannot publish a pin without choosing a board. This is always very important. Okay. What else? If you want to create a carousel, you can do that below the pin. Here you see carousel. Then you can upload, let's say, another picture here. And then people see both. They see the first side and they see the second page, basically. Description title stays the same. Also the link. But it's this slideshow I talked about already a couple of times. So if you want a few different slides, then you can do that easily here and people can then go through that, which is of course a good way to give more content in one. Okay. I now deleted everything because we don't need it for now. We will take a look at other features like edit the pin, like also linking products and so on and so on.